Good afternoon, friends. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And uh, listen, I'm, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we're, you guys are going to have to catch uh, this broadcast in its entirety over on Israeli News Live on our uh, other platforms. Uh, you may even be able to catch this over on, um, uh, if you have the app, you might be able to catch it over there. We will post this on Patreon. Uh, we will be posting this also on um, uh, brand new tube, Israeli News Live, as well as iConnectFX.com. I'll be posting it there. So I'll have the links below for you. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the president here, what he had to say in his speech there, an array of other screens here that I have. You can see there at the top there. Uh, I'll just let them pop up for you there. As you can see, the names of those there, I don't want to say anything about those or even show what is on some of these pages there because it is a major risk of our channel being um, banned if we were to share that information with you. Uh, so we're kind of uh, skipping past that. Uh, that is an interview that is done by... Um, uh, the founder of that organization, along with a particular doctor from Georgia. Uh, we'll just be pay playing a short clip from there. But at any rate there, I want to get right into some of the things I can share with you guys here. Pope Francis refuses to meet with Mike Pompeo ahead of a 2020 election. And, you know, it's fascinating, in my opinion, and not that I am for uh, either candidate but if you remember back in 2016 when Trump was running for president and Bernie Sanders was also trying to run as well, the Pope had no problem with meeting with Bernie Sanders. And yet when it came down to Pope Francis refusing to meet with Mike Pompeo, it had everything to do with the election. High-ranking Vatican officials said Wednesday that Pope Francis would not meet with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo during his visit to Rome, citing the proximity of the U.S. general election in November. While he didn't meet Francis, Pompeo met with Vatican officials on Thursdays, including Cardinal Pierre uh, Parolin and the Vatican Secretary of State Archbishop Richard uh, Gallagher, the Holy See's foreign minister. The Vatican News Agency reported 45 minutes encounter was cordial, and both parties discussed their respective stances on China. Of course, those of you might know, the, the Vatican has been given by China the ability to be able to uh, select their own cardinals in the country, and that's up for a rebid at this point here, and they're not wanting to uh, rock the boat too much uh, with China on that because they want to continue to be able to have their own cardinals in the nation there. Uh, so that's been a big issue going on there. Also, this article right here, especially since I've been touching a little bit on this uh, issue about the Messiah and Israel getting ready to reintroduce their Messiah. Then uh, uh, Adam Berkowitz comes out with this article, the Trump King David Connection and how it connects with Abraham's covenant. Uh, everything is really rolling around about the Messiah. The article goes in how that uh, Trump was not doing so well in his bid for, for running for president back when he was running in 2016 and how, uh, against Hillary Clinton, and uh, how that uh, he him holding his campaign in uh, Jerusalem in September 2016 was improbable for many reasons. The candidate was so far behind in the polls that some pundits said it would take a miracle for Trump to win. The organizers of the event chose an unlikely and inconvenient site intended to bring about just such a miracle, the Nevel David, or the Harp of David, catering hall overlooking the Temple Mount there. This is uh, actually a hall there that is pretty much right over the, or very close to being over the, uh, uh, over King David's tomb. And so Berkowitz writes in here like this is some kind of miracle. And of course, they also in the article, he reminds the people that Trump, uh, the Right here in this part of the uh, Donald Trump's in Gematria, Hebrew numerology equals 424, which is the same as the Mashiach ben David, uh, Messiah from the house of David. Hmm, well, wow, kind of interesting, right? Well, all this hype, and they're getting ready to bring out their Messiah figure 
uh, very soon there. I've been told that it is a former Israeli commander. I've mentioned the possibility of Ram. I had another um, intel person share with me a thought there um, of their own. Let me just see if I can pull up one. I had a book up a little bit earlier there, and maybe I still have that somewhere in here. Um, just try to look and see if I do have that on here anywhere. And my recently closed articles there, I don't see it on there. Let me just see if I can jump it up over here by typing in his first name, Yoni. Um, it's actually Jonathan. And uh, he is a, let's see, he is a former, he, or actually he still is, he is a lieutenant colonel uh, in the IDF. He is a reserve colonel, so let's put reserve. And he's also an author of a book there, Israel. Let me just write that in there. Yoni is what they, they call him. Here we go. Yoni Chetbon is, uh, is his name. And, uh, you know, this is a name that's been thrown out there to me as well as a possibility. Uh, I don't really know the answer to that again. But uh, he's 41 years old. And uh, uh, he is uh, someone else. Is somebody has mentioned it could be possibly a candidate. Like I said, there, there's a lot going on there. And again, I still... Still keep wondering about Jared Kushner. And of course, you get these little articles out there with Trump and stuff. You can't help but, can't help but wonder, right? You can't help but wonder what in the world is going on. Anyway, Trump, under the sign of the Ayat, opened the way of the other nations who are now coming to Jerusalem and opening their embassies in preparation. What? For the Messiah, Rabbi Berger said. That was in the article there about Trump. So I just... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm keeping a very close watch because I know that they're very close to wanting to introduce their Messiah. Also, the situation with Armenia and Azerbaijan, uh, we are working on trying to get some more accurate information out of these uh, this war-torn region right now uh, that is being really fueled by, uh, well, Israel's not helping anything by arming Azerbaijan with weapons to fight against Armenia which really is a slap in the face of the Armenian citizens that live inside of Israel. Some of the oldest Christians there are are the Armenians that live in Israel. And uh, so I think that's really a crying shame that the, that, the, uh, that the government of Israel is actually arming Azerbaijan uh, with weapons. But uh, this article here from Amman News there shows uh, uh, the, the Azerbaijan, excuse me, the Armenians, having some success against uh, against the the Azerbaijans there, using some uh, laser-guided weapons there, destroying different armored vehicles there, tanks, whatever it might be there uh, in this battle. And, of course, from what we've heard and everything thus far from uh, one source there on the ground, is that Armenia is not looking to have intervention by foreign forces in their country to fight Azerbaijan. They're only wanting uh, for people to understand what's really going on and that uh, countries like Turkey who are uh, Turkey and Israel who are arming Azerbaijan to go against the Armenian people. Uh, very much a shame to hear what is actually happening there. But at any rate, they're, they're having some successes themselves. And, uh, and, and, and uh just, you know, we don't know the full story ourselves, so we're trying to get to the bottom of this so we can share that with you guys a little bit better there as well. Also, third Iranian fuel tanker reaches Venezuela in defiance of U.S. threats. Beirut, Lebanon, on Saturday, an Iranian fuel tanker entered a Venezuelan waters carrying large quantities of fuel to help solve the fuel shortage that affects the latter. Uh, and according to the agency of Reuters, the Iranian fuel tanker Faxon was able to enter the territorial waters of Venezuela loaded with about 234,000 barrels of fuel. Another tanker had entered in there on Friday. So uh, Iran, uh, you know, standing up against U.S. embargo of Venezuela there. Uh, pretty bold gesture, but I think uh, right now the U.S. has enough issues on its own plate. So that I kind of concluded here with Israeli News Live on YouTube, but let's continue on now. Uh, with the rest of our broadcast for those of you that are watching on brand new tube and I connect also Patreon. Let's continue on now. And oh, by the way, one thing too, let me remind you of.
because we do have so much of this going on and we're, we're forgetting so much about um, the seriousness of the hour that we're living in, empshield.com. Uh, besides, we thank you for your support for supporting this ministry. Uh, I want to remind you about empshield.com. And I say this because to me, it is important. We never know when they're planning on, on doing something crazy, whether it be an inside job, whether it be China, whatever the, ca the case may be. Uh, you know, there is still a great deal of threat for your, for your car, your house, whatever. And an EMP shield is an important, I think a very important asset for you. When you're going there, I have it on both my vehicles. And uh, when you click on this right here, I think it's going to ask you, let's see, I just did the add to the cart. Uh, let's see. I guess I got to go to, yeah, okay, we got one item, got one item to check out. So you'd go to be able to check out. And you're going to be able to enter, there we go right there, a coupon code, right? Apply your coupon code. So when you click on that, apply your coupon code. Oh, I got to type in the coupon code. There we go. INL50. You apply that coupon code, right? Once you apply it, it's going to change what you owe. All right. They give you $50 off. And, I, and from what I understand, that's not on every single product. But in the case of the one for your vehicle, it's $50 off for the one for your vehicle. All right, then I would proceed on to the checkout. Instead of paying $389, I'd pay, pay $339 for the product right there. All right, and so, and there's a lot of other different products that they have available uh, as well. Let me just go back up. You got home protection, uh, you got generator protection as well. There you go. And, and they've got instructional videos on there on how to use these. And the important thing about the home protection is. If an EMP strike comes, that you protect your appliances. Because I can't guarantee, I'll tell you straight up, I'm not here to, 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 to play games about this. I don't know the electricity would go back up, right? But what what do you what do you what should we be doing uh, if the electricity doesn't go back up? We want to consider do we have solar power protection? Do we have do we have a generator to keep our electricity going? Well, the reason for that EMP shield on your house is to protect the appliances that you have. So you don't have to go replace all of them. So to me, it's like an insurance policy. All right. So they have different EMP shields for different things. Uh, I know that solar panels have to use certain ones. And, and you've got to know what your solar system is in order to protect it. Uh, I still need to order one because I've got a little old timey Ford uh, tractor that I'd like to make sure. You know, I mean, it's really all I'm going to protect what the battery, the points, the plugs, but still starter, you know, it's not that easy to come by to get a starter for that thing. Um, and let's just say if we were ordering this one, I have no idea. I'm just, just trying this out of curiosity. But that one's expensive too, boy, $539. So I wonder if I'm going to add it to the cart. All right. So let me go to the cart now and I'll just see out of curiosity. Okay. Um, I want to apply the coupon code again. So I'm going to apply it, apply my coupon. I want to see what, what is it changing. All right. Now they've reduced my order a hundred dollars for the two items. And that's kind of nice to see. I didn't know this. I'm just kind of playing around with it as I tell you guys about it too. So they're giving you every time you do a, a product in here, they're giving you a discount for it. And it does, it helps support the ministry as well. Uh, and we do appreciate appreciate that, but I would not tell you about it if it didn't, to me, didn't really matter. I feel like that it's important. Otherwise, I, I, I just, because I'm not into promoting products. I'm just not into it. Um, I mean, occasionally we have somebody on that's an author or whatever, and uh, they'll tell you about what they do, uh, stuff like that. But for us, you know, uh, I don't like getting into all that. But if you do want to support the ministry, you know, you can. And only if God leads you to support the ministry, please don't. We don't, we don't like, we're not here to beg people for money, anything like that. But if God has laid it on your heart, you feel on your heart, you want to help support the ministry, please just visit our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. We have our mailing address right here. 
as well as you can just click there to donate online. Either way, we do thank you for your help. God bless you and thank you for watching. I'm Stephen Benu.